I'm Jeff King with King and McGregor Environmental. We're the agents of record for Urbana Resources on the permit application under parts 301 and 303 of the state's Natural Resource Environmental Protection Act. Uh, just to give a brief history of the activities that have occurred on the site from uh, a resource uh, inventory perspective, in 2009 until um, this year, wetlands have been identified on the property, flagged and surveyed um, uh, in great detail. The wetlands on the site range from those that are associated with the water courses on the site um, to uh, pools uh, that don't drain properly, um, to wetlands that occur as a result of uh, logging activities and other activities on the site where water just doesn't drain. Um, that's important um, for a reason that I'll get to very briefly and shortly. The purpose of the permit application is to demonstrate to the department satisfaction that the resources on the site um, have been avoided to the extent possible, uh, minimized to the extent practicable, and if the department determines a permit could be issued um, for mitigation to occur. This particular project involves almost 60 acres of wetland impact and over 13,000 feet of stream impact. We are prepared to mitigate for those impacts should the department uh, determine that a permit is appropriate under um, either of these parts. That mitigation plan is currently proposed to create 127 acres of new wetlands on the site or wetland restoration in some cases, um, varying in different areas across the site. Wetlands can be created on the site relatively easily based on what we saw um, with these incidental uh, wetlands being created as a result of man-made activities. Now our plan would be in detail to create high quality wetlands and we will be monitoring them accordingly for five years should the department determine the issue permit. Uh, otherwise we will be mitigating stream impacts as appropriate and are prepared to work with the department um, as necessary to accomplish that. And in closing I'd just like to say that the public hearing tonight is important for us to understand the considerations. We think we've done a very thorough job in presenting the application. Um, however, if other considerations are raised, we're certainly prepared to address them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hello, Richard Sloat. I'm representing myself. Uh, you can't create wetlands. You can make wetland, but you can't create wetlands from all the uh, environmental uh, increases that occur in wetlands. Um, you mentioned about uh, waters of the state. I'm not sure if uh, all those miles of stream are considered waters of the state, um, but the public has the right and an and, and inherent right to clean water. I don't think people in the regulatory agencies or the federal government are taking that into consideration. It's been an inherent right forever. Uh, this land is on, uh, this site is on ceded territory. Um, the Native American people have the right to clean water. And I just can't imagine people standing here and saying that they're going to fill 60 some acres of wetlands in, in, uh, in, uh, and disturb all those miles of stream and don't think that that's going to have an impact. Uh, I came kind of unprepared because I thought this was going to be a different type of hearing. Um, but I think we have a civil right to uh, clean water and that's not being taken into account. And maybe there will be some attorney that will turn up that will help us in a civil uh, rights case uh, just because our rights are not being thought about. Thank you.